This looks like it's broken. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Melinda, plain and simple. It's Tuesday, and that means it's time for another tiny tidy. I'm back out in my garage once again. I'm going to tackle one more little section today. So if you've got anything around your house that you want to clean, declutter, organize, whatever, grab your stuff and come on and we'll do this together. This is the section I'm going to work on today, specifically these boxes that are sitting on top of the desk. I want to pull all of those down, see if there's anything in them, and um, put them back up in a little bit better order. Lots of empty boxes. That's what was up there. That one has some bags in it. I just put those in there recently. And um, those two boxes. I think, I think that was some stuff that I gathered from over here just the other day. So, mm, I need to decide if I really need to keep, especially that little one there in the bottom. I may not need to keep that one. Um, but you can also see a couple of boxes here with some things in it. Those are Randy's. That tarp was all wadded up. I folded it. And we have a couple of coolers there. Honestly, we never use them, but we keep them just in case we need them. And then um, we have some posters. Those are all Randy's. He's going to want to keep those. I'm trying, they're, they're really big, so I'm trying to figure out a place to put them so that they're protected. Those lamps belong to my in-laws, and Randy wants to keep them, so I'm going to put them in this box. That way I'll be putting this box to use, and I'll get those lamps up off of my garage floor. Instead of decluttering these two Tupperware containers, I'm going to wash them up and put them over in the section with the tools, and maybe we can put them to use. It looks like the lids for those two boxes got switched somehow, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to switch them. But I just wanted to let you know, those uh, the xylophones, those are not from Randy's childhood. There's a couple of them in here, and I think he has a couple in the house as well. He bought those to use for science experiments. There's a couple of signs back here. I think that one was when we got our roof put on and this one maybe when we got our furnace put in. I don't think we need them. I'll ask Randy, but if I can get those out of there and he is okay with it, I'm gonna go ahead and declutter those. I moved that out of the way and this is what I found. Yuck. I also found a little Christmas tree stand down in here, and I'm not sure what else. That looks like, I think that might be some aprons that my mom gave me. I don't know if she found them at a garage sale or if they belong to somebody. And that stuff, I don't even know. I can see newspaper in it, but it could be some stuff that's wrapped up in newspaper. If I can get it out of there... I'll see what it is. Looks like both of these bags have things in it that are mine to go through. So I think I'm gonna use this box that I that Randy had stuff in just to put it in and we'll go through that another day when I come out here into the garage because that could take a little while. That could be a whole tiny tidy on its own. A lot more dirt here. And this looks like it's broken. I'm going to look down through this bag and see if there's anything that we need to actually keep. There was a receipt, a piece of trash, the bubble wrap, a couple of gift bags, and a gift box, a bunch of bags. And now it just has dirt in it. I don't need to keep that bag. And most of the rest of it can go as well. I think I'll put the little bags with my driveway giveaway stuff. I don't know if you can tell just how dirty that window is, but yeah, it's it's pretty dirty. Um, I, but I can't get to it to clean it really well, so I'm just gonna take my broom and knock down some of the surface dirt, and when I'm done, I can sweep it up out of the floor back here. I transferred those bags from this box to this laundry basket. I'll use those for driveway giveaways and for buy nothing things. Um, but this bag is kind of falling apart. Had some more of those plastic shopping type bags in here. Don't need those. But 
I'm going to take this box apart, this cardboard box, and put it to use. I put Randy's posters back over here on the desk, but before I put things on top of them, because that's where they were before, but I'm going to try to use this box as a cover for them, maybe, just to protect them a little bit better. So there you go. It's not perfect, but maybe they'll keep a little of the dust off of them so they won't get quite as dirty. I decided to go ahead and break these two boxes down. That way I can kind of slide them in somewhere. They'll be flatter to store. But I did want to keep a couple of boxes up and ready in case I needed to grab one quickly. So I've got three right here, but they all fit into one box. This one will fit into that box. That box will fit into this box. Now I just got to figure out where am I going to put them. This bag is really dirty. I'm not really sure what that is on it, but I'm going to try to cover it with this bag that's ripped up um, because I don't have another plastic bag. And I'm thinking I want to put something on top of that. There we go. That'll work. I'll be able to get to the boxes easily if I need them because usually when I need them, my car's in the garage, and so I don't want to switch these two boxes. I'm gonna leave that one where it's at. That way, if I need to use these, I will, because it won't be hard. If I make it too hard for myself, I'll just find another, something else to use. Even if it takes me longer to do it. Like, even if I have to look around, even if it's harder to get to it, I would avoid <laughs> getting the boxes because they weren't easily accessible. So, you know, you just got to know how you are. That's what I would do. I would avoid getting them if I made it too hard for myself. I found a bunch of bags and some other things that can go into the trash and the recycling bin. And I found a few things that I can go through for another tiny tidy. I relocated some of the items to this section over here, including the lamps. They're in that box there. Some of those gift bags are here. This is the box that was sitting on the floor, but it, it's just bags for the driveway giveaways and buy nothing. So all of those are now together. And this is where I tucked those boxes that I took apart. And when I picked that stuff up, I realized there was something heavy in it. Well, it was this pretty little plate. I don't think we need this. So if it's not something special, it's gonna get decluttered. Look at this. I can walk around my car in the garage. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> I can walk all the way around my car. I could even get in my car. I haven't been able to do that for quite a while. Woohoo! Even if the garage door's down. I swept the floor and the wind is already blowing the leaves back in, so I'm probably going to have to sweep it again. But I did get my declutter pile taken care of, and that is my tiny tidy for this week. So let me know down in the comments if you did a tiny tidy along with me. Till next time, happy decluttering! Bye! I have an entry to the spare that's room to park my car. With boxes on both sides and back, you must know where you are. Passengers, they get out first, before I back it in. And if I'm too close to my side, I pull forward and try again. Okay, so maybe it might be nice to have a bit more space. Room for error on both sides to ease my car into its place. No more squeezing in and out. That's always such a pain. And passengers could stay inside, not exit in the rain. I can make that happen. I can give myself more room by going through the boxes and saving them from doom. Yes, I could park in just one try with lots of room to spare. If only all those boxes were no longer sitting there. There's my bubby. Did you get your tiny tidy done? Hmm? Did you get your tiny tidy done today? If you want more inspiration and motivation, 
click on the playlist. I'll have a link in the description box below. And I'll also have a link to Sunday Dawn's channel, The Helpful Home. She is the host of Tiny Tiny Tuesdays every week.